of lawmakers and horse lovers say slot machines at racetracks might be one of the best ways to help with our state's massive budget shortfall. KXAN's political reporter Josh Hinkle live at the Capitol tonight. And Josh, it looks like this form of gambling has a better chance this session considering all the support. That's right, and so much so that if you were out here on the lawn today, you'd really have to watch what you were walking into on the grass because there are a lot of dogs and horses out here. Obviously, they got all that mess cleaned up, but there were also a lot of supporters along with them saying that Texas can't afford to lose out on slot machines at racetracks. This is my friend, Insider Tips. He's a retired racehorse. Now I teach middle-aged women to ride on him. Fredericksburg horse breeder Lane Hutchins says she never thought she'd lobby at the state capitol for anything, especially slot machines at racetracks. Our industry is in serious trouble. I don't want to have to race out of state. I want to keep our money here and our jobs. Texas is up against neighboring states with a competitive gambling advantage. We have hundreds of horsemen here today, and we hope that that will make a difference and change some minds, hopefully. Using racehorses, dogs, and even celebrity advocate Lyle Lovett. Have you written a song about it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I might have to write a song about politics, uh, you know, after <laughs> spending a day here at the House of Senate. This is a way to generate significant money for the state treasury without raising taxes. Today, senators said slots at racetracks and Indian reservations alone would give the state $800 million in the next biennium and more than $2 billion in each to follow. Plus, there would be an $88 million annual economic impact. It will create 77,000 new jobs in the state of Texas. Jobs to belong to working people here in our state. But gambling as a revenue source has been pushed aside by social conservatives in past sessions. Exploits the poor because the very people who don't have resources to gamble are the very ones who gamble hoping for to hit the big jackpot. Hutchins says this session's $27 billion budget shortfall might be just what her group needs to send slots through. With a little luck, maybe. And a lot of prayers. <laughs> Well, slots are already among several pieces of legislation already being uh, handled by a House committee, but the Senate side might have a tougher time getting something like that through. So far, it hasn't come up in committee, but the lieutenant governor says he doesn't think that uh, members have enough support uh, to get it past the floor if it ever gets that far. For now, we're live at the state capitol. Josh Hinkle, KXAN, Austin News.